my name is Danny. I'm going to be your nurse practitioner today. I'm going to do a um, heart, lung, and lip node assessment. So um, I'm going to be listening to areas on your heart and your lungs and also palpating different areas as well. So let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness when I do this. So first we're going to start off with your lymph nodes. So I'm just going to uh, put my hands and palpate all your lymph node areas here. So we have pre-auricular, post-auricular, we have occipital, and then we're going to do right here, submaxillary, submandibular, submental. Now I'm going to do the posterior. Sorry, got to get in there. Okay, and then anterior. And then I'm going to have you shrug your shoulders here. I'm going to look at your clavicles, kind of go right in here and pop it for your uh, supraclavicular. Okay, so lymph nodes are non-palpable and um, non-tender. Do you feel any tenderness when it goes? No. Okay, great. So now I'm going to uh, listen to your heart and palpate. So go ahead and either take off your shirt or lift it up, whichever one is comfortable for you. Thank you. So first I'm going to inspect. I see no heaves or lifts. And so now I'm going to palpate um, the valve areas here. So I'm just going to feel for your ribs. So we have the second intercostal space right here. So we have the right intercostal space, sorry, right second intercostal space. That's going to be the aortic. And then the left second intercostal space, that's going to be the pulmonic. And then we're going to go down to the fourth, and this is going to be the tricuspid here on the left side. And then I'm just going to palpate your PMI here, your apical pulse, which is going to be the fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line. Okay, so your apical pulse is brisk and tapping. So now I'm going to auscultate. Okay, listening to the aortic area, pulmonic. So right now I'm hearing S2 is louder than S1. I'm going to listen to the tricuspid. Okay, and then now I'm going to listen to your apical pulse, which is the mitral valve. Okay. So at your apical pulse, I hear that S1 is louder than S2, and I didn't hear any murmurs or gallops, no extra heart sounds, and um, I didn't hear, because of that, I don't think you need to lie in the left lateral decubitus position, because uh, I heard no abnormalities there, so great. So now, now I'm going to listen to your lungs. So first I'm just going to inspect, um, I see that chest is symmetrical, there is um, absent um, or bruises or scars, and your respiratory rate uh, is regular and unlabored. So now I'm just going to palpate real quick for crepitus. Sorry. <laughs> So crepitus is non-palpable, or is not palpable, and so now I'm going to do tactile fremitus. I'm going to use the palm of my hands. So I just need to have you say um, 99 for me, and I'm going to just do it in three different areas. Yeah? 99, 99, 99. Okay. And uh, tactile fremitus, uh, so I did that. And now I'm going to listen to your lung sounds. So I'm just going to have you breathe normally here.
Okay, so breath sounds are clear bilaterally. Um, bronchovesicular sounds are heard mostly in the lung, in most lung fields. Uh, I didn't hear any adventitious sounds and um, I don't see any retractions of the lower intercostal space or um, supracovicular during inspiration. Okay, so now I'm going to um, do an exam on the back side and we're going to do your lungs. So first I am just going to inspect. So chest appears um, symmetrical and I'm going to look at your AP diameter here. So it looks like uh, the AP diameter is approximately half of the lateral diameter. So now I'm going to check for chest expansion. So I'm going to place my hands on your back here and I'm just going to feel for your ribs. 11 and 12. Okay. I'm going to place my hands right here. I'm going to have you take a deep breath. Okay, so my thumbs moved up equally, which means chest expansion is symmetrical. Um, so now I'm going to check for tactile pharmacist scan like I did in the front. So I'm just going to place my hands kind of right here. I'm going to have you say 99 again, okay? 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay. So um, I see, I didn't feel any vibrations. They were diminishing as I was moving um, kind of inferiorly. So, uh, which means that there is no consolidation present. So now I'm going to percuss. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna feel for your scapula here, kind of go around it, okay? So um, it sounded resonant in all lung fields, um, which is a normal finding. So now I'm going to uh, listen here. Take a listen. So I'm just going to have you breathe normally, and I'm just going to follow your your breath breath sounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, they didn't hear any adventitious lung sounds. Um, so their breath sounds are clear bilaterally and uh, bronchovesicular sounds were heard in most of the lung fields. So good. Now I'm going to do what's called egophony. I'm gonna have you uh, say E for me. I'm gonna go through the same areas and listen. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna have you say E every time I move the stethoscope. Go ahead and say E. 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 And then last bit here. E. E. Okay, good. So um, I didn't hear any egophony present, so uh, it would have been an A sound, but I didn't hear that, so it was all an E sound. So um, no consolidation heard there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take a look at your upper extremities now. So I'm just going to inspect them. Color looks even and appropriate for cultural background. I'm just going to feel for temperature here. It's even, like warm and even bilaterally. And I'm going to do capillary refill, so I'm just going to check for color return less than two seconds. Check the other side, color return is less than two seconds. Now I'm going to feel for your radial pulse. 
see. Plus two, non-bounding. Other side is plus two, non-bounding. And then we're gonna do your brachial pulls. Thank you. So I'm gonna check right here. Okay, plus two, non-bounding. Plus two non-bounding as well. Okay, so now we're gonna do the Allen test. I'm gonna have you put your hand in a fist, squeeze it real tight here, and I'm going to kind of plug both your radial and your ulnar artery here. Okay, and then slowly release your hand. Okay, now I'm going to do this. Okay. And we've got color return, which means that your ulnar artery is patent. Okay, so now I'm going to palpate your femoral pulse and check here. So I'm just going to place my hand right here, okay? Okay, so we have plus two. And plus two on the other side. So we have plus two femoral pulses, non-bounding, and that's bilateral. So now I'm gonna do the lower legs. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the lower legs as I did with the, your upper extremities. Um, so I'm just gonna check for color. Color seems even and appropriate for cultural background. And I'm gonna check for temperature. And it's equally warm on both sides. And so now I'm gonna check cap refill here. Okay, less than two seconds, check the other side, and less than two seconds. Now I'm going to try and get good for your pulse here. Okay, that's plus two, and plus two as well. So both dorsalis pedal pulses are plus two and non-bounding. <laughs> All right, and um, the posterior chibialis pulses are also plus two, not bounding. And I don't see any edema as well, so no edema bilaterally. So now I'm going to do what's called the Holman sign. I'm going to have you uh, straighten out your leg here and then just sort of flex your feet. Do you have any calf pain when you do that? No. Great. So Holman sign is negative.